Creon was broken. The four monarchs cautiously approach an elaborately ornate grip. The Creonites realized their founder was once a mage wizard. The rulers of Darien discovered they had almost been destroyed by the final ambition of their own father. Creonites became more isolated and less certain about carrying the religion of science to the unenlightened. They withdrew their expeditionary force from Darien and destroyed the Creonite entrance to the Caverns of Bis in a titanic explosion. Back in Darien, the four monarchs had much to do. Karenna, chastened but ever eager for a chance for profit, began regular trade with the rest of brooding land of Creon. Lochin returned to Taros, but none of his siblings trusted that death had softened his nature. Thersha melted back into the wilds of Zaun and raised up even more nightmare creatures to guard her privacy. And Elson returned to put down the remnants of rebellion, outwardly unchanged but inwardly shaken, wondering whether Garakaios would ever truly be gone from his life. The words found carved on the crypt in Creon gave him cold comfort. At last I lie, neath bitter stone, perforce at rest. I rot in magic and in iron two mighty lands, though in the end all vanishes beneath time's sands. In life anew, inequity shall be redressed. Garakaios, Mage Emperor of Darien, first sage of Creon.